I knew one day that the internet would come for this serial content stealer and gaslighter because I was her first ever victim. So if you haven't seen Taylor's video, she talks about how this girl Yu Yi Chua has been building an entire platform in the hundreds of thousands of followers often plagiarizing her content and that of other creators verbatim. And when I say verbatim, I mean word for word, mannerism for mannerism, frame for frame, verbatim, basically wearing their skin. From this plagiarized content, Yugi has received recognition, accolades, even getting on shit like Instagram's best creators list or whatever. Where this gets real creepy is if you go through her platforms, you can see that every few months or so, Yugi picks a new main target or victim. And she's been doing this for years. Again, how do I know this? Because I was her first ever main target slash victim in 2020. 20, and I've been quietly observing her ever since. So if you want to hear all about my psycho ass gaslighting ass experience with her and all the dirt I've gathered, watch the next videos. I was the first ever victim of a serial content stealer and a gaslighter who built her large platform off of plagiarizing other creators. And before I get into all the dirt and my gaslighting psycho ass experience and confrontation with her, let me give you some insight on just how intimate the influencer creator world is and how we're always keeping notes. When you're in this world and everyone's an influencer, creator, and entertainment, you all learn and recognize each other's distinct styles, video formats, just ways of saying stuff and phrasing thoughts. You can just smell just by scrolling and watching one video whether someone was inspired by you, doing their own thing, or trying to wear your skin. Yui, like with all the creators that followed after me, was trying to de-skin me and re-wear my skin as her own. All while being literal mutuals with me on every single platform, by the way. Now they've got a little context that I don't know, maybe not everyone needs. I'm gonna show you guys all the receipts and the side-by-sides in the next video. Hi! <laughs> V, I was the first ever victim of a serial content stealer and gaslighter who built her huge platform off of plagiarizing other creators. Let's get to the receipts, shall we? Back in 2020 slash 2021, I put out a viral multi-part video series called Bad Bitch Confidence Tips, and you guys might have seen it. It went super viral, and it were all my original thoughts and phrasing. I used my friend slash mutual's original sound that just came out. I edited and moved in them a certain way, and I was super proud of these videos. They were one of the best manifestations at the time of my self-improvement kind of self-love digital big sis mission. A couple weeks later, I'm scrolling my feed and I see this. Unfortunately, she has wiped the original, original copies of my videos because I started DMing her and she got spooked and started changing elements and deleting videos. Oh my God. Oh my God. But when I tell you they were verbatim copies of my videos, they were identical in every single aspect. At this point, I'm like trying to give her a pass because I figure, oh, she knows we're mutual. She can't be stupid enough to plagiarize my videos. But after she uploads like three or four identical plagiarized videos one by one, after I post each of mine one by one, I'm like, what the literal fuck? So I go confront her in what becomes the most psycho ass, gaslighting ass confrontation conversation I've ever seen. victim of a serial content stealer and gaslighter and these are the details of our psycho ass gaslighting ass confrontation. Just as a refresher, Yu Yi Cha plagiarized word for word, movement for movement, mannerism for mannerism, an entire video series of mine and has been doing this to other main target slash victims for many years. So I send Yu Yi's own reel to herself in an Instagram DM and I'm like, hey girl, what this? Yu Yi responds, hey, I'll be sure to credit you if I'm inspired and I'm like, oh, okay, so this is how it's gonna go down. I start laying into her more and say this. Remember, we are mutuals, y'all. We were also friendly and like commenting on each other's stuff and like DMing before all this, hence the I considered you an internet friend. By the way, during all this, she's ignoring all my DMs and in real time posting more plagiarized videos but tagging me this time. After I say I don't want to take this public just to make her respond, she responds with this. She says, I'm not coming to her in good faith. She mansplains to me how content creation works like a toddler. Oh my god, I'm getting heated again. Keep in mind at this time, I had an entire social media career creating self-improvement digital big sis content. I had over a million followers. Meanwhile, she had like 2K. You can pause to read this segment of her response. Big disclaimer, a lot of this conversation is missing because before I had the chance to screenshot all of them, she blocked me on literally every single platform. But essentially, she sent me a bunch of more essays essentially accusing me of using my influencer power to bully a working college student busy with finals. I'm not gonna lie, this situation really, really affected me because one, she was so 
one, I knew. I mean, she loved Bond me, so I should have known better, I guess. Two, I was just not as strong back then. And after this, I really started second guessing myself like, oh, maybe I am the crazy one. And three, I was super proud of that video series. I think TikTok's digital big sister and this experience just kind of tainted it. I was really never the same afterwards. Moral of the story. Watch out for Yu Yi Chua and anyone like her because they'll copy your life and then make you feel crazy about it.